welcome to T Academy. In today's lecture, we'll be checking the system y of t is equal to t times x of t for linearity. In order to check whether a system is linear, it has to conform to the principles of homogeneity and superposition, which I covered in one of my previous lectures. So let's review the principles of homogeneity and superposition briefly and then we'll start analyzing this problem. So in order for a system to be homogeneous, if I apply my input x1 of t by an arbitrary constant alpha, then the output y1 of t should also be multiplied by the same constant alpha. And the principle of homogeneity gives us the condition that zero input should lead to zero output because if I put alpha is equal to zero then for zero input the output should vanish. And the principle of superposition says that if I have an input x1 of t that leads to an output y1 of t, similarly another input x2 of t which leads to another output y2 of t, then the linear combination of these two inputs should also be equal to a combination of their respective outputs. Now combining these two principles, if x1 of t leads to an output y1 of t and x2 of t leads to an output y2 of t, then multiplying the input x1 by an arbitrary constant alpha should lead to an output y1 of t also multiplied by the same constant alpha. So this is the principle of homogeneity. And similarly, multiplying the input x2 of t by an arbitrary constant beta, it should lead to an output y2 of t multiplied by beta as well. Binding the inputs alpha times x1 of t and beta times x2 of t from the principle of superposition says that the respective outputs alpha times y1 of t and beta times y2 of t should also be added. And then I explain further with an example of a dynamic system like a capacitor and arrived at a condition in order for it to be linear. So you can watch the lecture in detail if you are interested. I wanted to emphasize that this is the equation that we need in order to check for the linearity of a system. So let's go back to our problem and analyze it. So we have seen that in order to check whether a system is linear or not, if I multiply the input x1 of t by a constant alpha, and I multiply the input x2 of t by another constant b, let's call them a and b, then it should lead to an output a times y1 of t plus b times y2 of t. So let's go ahead and find out y1 of t and y2 of t from this system when an input x1 of t and x2 of t is applied. So if I apply x1 of t to a system governed by the equation y of t is equal to t times x of t, I will get the output y1 of t as t times x1 of t. Now from the principle of homogeneity, if I multiply the input by A, then the output y1 of t should also be multiplied by A. And similarly, if I apply another input x2 of t, which leads to an output y2 of t given as t times x2 of t, and similarly, multiplying this input by a constant b should lead to an output 
y2 of t given as b times t times x2 of t. Now if I add these two inputs a times x1 of t plus b times x2 of t then this should lead to an output y of t which is the sum of the respective outputs y1 of t and y2 of t and plugging y1 of t as a times t times x1 of t and y2 as b times t times x2 of t the summation will equal t common a times x1 of t plus b times x2 of t. So this is the output that we should have if we apply an input of the form a times x1 of t plus b times x2 of t in order for the system to be linear. So let's go and apply this as the input. So now my x3 of t will be equal to this. I'm interested in finding out whether y3 of t is equal to this expression here or not. So let's go ahead and check. So the x3 of t is given as a times x1 of t plus b times x2 of t and the new y3 of t from the system equation is given as t times x3 of t. So substituting the value of x3 of t, I will put this value here. So it would be t times a times x1 of t plus b times x2 of t. And this indeed is equal to the summation of y1 of t and y2 of t which we have found out earlier. So this proves that this system indeed is linear because it conforms to the principle of homogeneity and superposition. So that's it for today's lecture. I hope you found it useful. Stay tuned to my channel for more content related to signals and systems and I'll see you again in another lecture. Bye.